In today's episode of American Racism that only happens in people's heads, this lovely lady in Mohegan Lane, New York, is getting arrested while yelling Walmart is racist. Now, why, why do you think she's getting arrested? Because I asked myself the same thing. Well, she had a complete mental breakdown at Walmart and threw a fit. And when police showed up, she decided it would be a good idea to slap the officer in the face. To the point where she literally slapped his glasses off of his head. Now, there are a lot of reports out there that she was arrested for shoplifting, stealing, and so on and so forth. But however, New York State Police confirmed that she, in fact, did not steal anything. She did not try to shoplift. They were called on the scene for safety reasons from bystanders that were concerned with what she was doing. You, you cannot, you cannot make this shit up. You really can't. Only in America, the greatest country on the planet, and we have no institutions for mental health. We have no support for mental health. You have people that shouldn't be on the streets, be on the streets. And the question arises, let's talk gun control, right? Everything that we see from politicians from the left is we have to take the guns away, we have to take the guns away, we have to take the guns away. From people that never committed a crime. But when it comes to criminals, they have no concrete, factual, tangible action plan to go after criminals that are in possession of guns and firearms, that they shouldn't be in possession of guns and firearms, right? When it comes to mental health, people like this person and people that are much worse than her, there's no institutions out there. There are no institutions out there to take them off the streets. Maybe it's not her case, but there are people out there that are in a much more severe condition than she is, and they're still on the streets. They are still roaming free on the streets. Why? Because we need to care about people's feelings. I guess we don't need to care about the 12 year old or the seven year old at Walmart that has to experience that firsthand. Uh, what do you think that's gonna do to the psyche of a child? Just food for thought.